Welcome back to your channel everyone, I hope you are doing absolutely well, this is AT back with another video. So today is gonna be the review of the extended reverse room based on Android 9.0 by unofficial for the Redmi Note 3. So without any further ado, let's now get started. Today's like target is 50 likes again, so go hit the like button and help me achieve the aim. So here is my Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 running the extended OS ROM and guys straight away let me tell you one thing even this ROM is pretty much similar to other 9.0 Pi ROMs even the kernel is again the Xcrema kernel I'll show you that in a moment I'm reviewing this ROM because I got a hell lot of requests on YouTube, Telegram, Instagram etc people were telling like please review the extended unofficial ROM for the Redmi Note 3 that's why I just sort of reviewing it but there is no any speciality when it comes to this ROM and other ROMs guys it's pretty much similar so here is the launcher, this is the pixel launcher as you can see Working absolutely well on this ROM, it was not working on the Viper OS which I reviewed yesterday It was giving forced closures but the same GApps package I have flashed on this ROM and it is working absolutely well as you can see So here are a couple of applications except PUBG and Geekbench, all other apps came pre-installed with this ROM So talking about the music player here is the music player, it comes with a stock music player that's really good and the sound output in this room is also really good, loud enough and talking about the equalizer, equalizer support is also there, it came pre-installed with this room but it is disabled by default, do not enable it because if you enable that then the sound output is a little bit low, the volume is a little bit lower, if you are using a headphone then it's okay but for the speaker it's not that great. Let me show you the settings menu of this room really quick, the about device section, so going into about device and system. As you can see the about device section, it has a big logo over here, extended the custom ROM it says and going further down the android version which is obviously 9.0 pi, here it is working absolutely well, here is android pi, the latest from google, the security patch is of january 5 2019 and as i told you earlier the kernel, it's the xcrema kernel version 3.10.108, it's the same kernel what we have seen on the AX ROM and yesterday which i reviewed the viper os. The build date is Friday, January 25th, 2019. Yes, I am a little bit late to review this ROM, but yeah, as you can see, it clearly says here MSM extended unofficial. Unofficial, it's not official, guys. So please don't ask the same question again in the comment section. The CLN extended is permissive, as you can see. Going back, as you can see, here are the available options in the system menu. You can also add a guest if you want to. It's on admin now. You can add a guest, not an issue. Developer options came pre enabled in this ROM. I didn't enable that. Going back, digital well-being is present in this room and it is working absolutely well as you can see. So talking about fingerprint, it's working absolutely well, I didn't have any issues, let me show you the speed as you can see. Talking about location, it also works fine, no issues with anything. Going into display, here are a couple of standard stuff like the double tap to wake, let us try it out. Here it is, working absolutely fine. Also, it says the extended ambient display, which is nothing but some of the customizations for the ambient display going into this one. Here are a couple of gestures like the pickup, proximity wake, pocket, etc. You can enable those if you want to. Always on option is also there, but don't use that because the battery life will not be that great if you enable that. Screen stabilization option is also here and it is also present in the quick toggles. As you can see, the screen stabilization, also the CPU info, as you can see here it is. So here are a couple of customization options, it says extensions, our customization hub and here are all the available customization options guys, it's pretty much similar to various other ROMs, yesterday I reviewed all of the customization options, almost 90% of customization options in the Viper OS, it's pretty much similar, you can have a look at it, I'll not be going through all the customizations again in this ROM review, let me show you some of the basic ones like the navigation bar, let me enable this, here it is. So this is a different style animation bar as you can see, it's pretty much similar to the Havoc OS what we have seen in Havoc OS. Let me disable that for the moment, I don't want that. And going back, going into status bar settings, here are a couple of status bar customizations like the network traffic monitor which is disabled by default, you can enable that if you want to. It shows your current upload and download speeds. So going into the gestures, here are a couple of gestures that are available like the gesture anywhere, it is also there. And I have enabled the edge gestures by the way. Here it is, it's pretty much similar to the MI gestures, MI UI, here it is, it's for the back and this is for going home like this, pretty much neat and it's working absolutely fine, I have kept it enabled, going into power menu, here are a couple of options that are available in the power menu, the advanced reset option comes pre-enabled in this room, that's good. So these are some of the customization options guys, 
So talking about the performance in this room, as you can see I have got a score of 1442 on single core and 3510 on multi core in the Geekbench and today benchmark isn't running again and when compared to other roms it's pretty much similar i think so the multi core score is a little bit higher than nitrogen os2 nitrogen os and the aex rom so if i remember properly those roms were able to score 3500 exact 500 or 499 but this thing has taken a little bit lead there is no any difference in terms of performance by the way not notice a major difference over there and one more thing after you first install this rom after you have installed g apps then the rom was extremely laggy guy i thought this rom is not worth that's because it was extremely laggy after first boot but after using it for like three to four hours it's working fine now there aren't any lags whatsoever in the system even if you give lots and lots of apps in the memory there aren't lags but compared to nitrogen os aex rom viper os and also some other roms this rom is not that great in terms of performance because those roms didn't had lags even after the first boot but this rom was showing major lags after the first boot but after using it for a while it's not the case now so talking about the pubg gameplay pubg was running absolutely well in this rom as the excrema kernel is known for its performance again pubg was pretty much similar to various other roms but guys after extended usage pubg was lagging a little bit Yes, there were some lags here and there which I didn't notice in some other rooms like the Nitrogen OS, Viper OS, AEX ROM etc. But this room had that issue. Don't take me wrong, PUBG gameplay was really good but after extended gaming, after playing it for like 35 minutes, 30 minutes to 35 minutes then there were slight lags at the end, at the end of the gameplay. So that was not the case with other rooms. But for most of the part PUBG was running absolutely well. I enjoyed playing PUBG even in this room, not an issue with that. So talking about the battery life in this room, let me show you my battery states really quick. So going into the battery and the battery states, as you can see this is my usage. So it's showing 35 minutes of PUBG and 3% of drain which is not at all possible. You guys might be knowing that. I played PUBG for around 30 to 35 minutes and the battery drain there was somewhere around 10 to 11%. That's good, it's a little bit lesser than some other rooms too but the performance was also a little bit lesser than some other rooms. So talking about other things like Geekbench, I used it for 10 minutes max, not more than that and there the battery drain was somewhere around 5%. I played music for a while, it isn't showing over here, there the battery drain was somewhere around 4%. Later on I updated Play Store, it was updating something like the Play Support Libraries etc. And there the battery drain was 2%, not more than that. I cannot comment about the standby time right now, I need to test it further. I'll comment it down in the comment section and I'll definitely share a screenshot of it in the telegram channel. You can also join Instagram, I'll share there. If anybody is not on telegram, you can follow me on Instagram. I'll have a story on my Instagram account, you can see that. So in a nutshell, the battery life is also good, not an issue with that. So ultimate conclusion guys, I recommend you guys to go with some other ROM. If you want this ROM then you can use it, but in my opinion, the Nitrogen OS, AEX ROM and even the Viper OS is slightly better than this ROM. Choice is yours, you can use either of them. All of these ROMs are really good. But my personal choice will be the Nitrogen OS and apart from Nitrogen OS, it would be the AEX ROM. I haven't tested the latest build of Havoc OS, let me try that one and see and I'll give my review on that ROM too. All the important links will be in the description. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This is all about technology 24 into 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.